What is going on guys? Today we're going to be reviewing Red Dragon's Storm Mouse. It is a gaming mouse that is extra lightweight because it has that honeycomb design that everyone has been wanting ever since that huge like mouse came out a while back. Basically everyone wants a super light mouse so they could be a pro gamer and so they made a honeycomb design mouse. Even though I'm pretty sure most people have been buying these just because they kind of look cool and different. But anyways, let's review the Red Dragon Storm. So first let's unbox it and then we'll look at some of the specs on this mouse. So I got this mouse at Micro Center where I work actually. So I got a pretty sweet deal. You are able to find it on Amazon and I will have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you choose to use that link, it'll definitely help support me. Anyways, let's take a look at this mouse. All right, so it comes in a plastic container. Just take it out, just throw that away. Now we have the mouse itself. But before we get too excited, let's see what's in the box. A user manual. Oh, here we go. We got the sticker. Now it's all worth it. You always got to get that Red Dragon sticker. Maybe it'll match my gaming setup. All right, so I'm pretty sure most of you here know how to use a mouse. So let's look at the mouse. So this mouse has a beautiful honeycomb design. Basically, they carve out a bunch of the plastic to give it a lighter weight. That is the whole reason they make these mouses and the light shines through so it looks really cool. And something just to note, even on the bottom, it has the same honeycomb design, so it is actually cutting out a lot of weight. So back to the box real fast, it has all the specs on the back here in English, so that's always nice. We have a 12,400 DPI gaming mouse. Obviously they talk about how lightweight it is, it is pretty lightweight, I will say. And basically the only other thing that we have to worry about on the back here is this, and they say the left and right click are graded for about 20 million presses. That's a lot of presses, and I think you guys are gonna be good unless if you're playing cookie clicker all the time. Anyways, let's take a closer look at the Red Dragon Storm. So I actually have another Red Dragon mouse right here, and it is much heavier than this mouse, much heavier. And I think it's partially because this mouse doesn't have a dedicated weight bay, my mouse over there has a dedicated weight bay that you turn and then you're able to take weights in and out. This mouse has none of that and actually has a lot less plastic, so it glides like nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this one in so you can see the RGB functions. So I actually had to unplug some of my LED lights from my PC just so I could plug this in because my PC is full. But now we get to see the glorious RGB. So as you guys can see, these are very similar. They're almost the same exact design, but this one has the honeycomb effect. All the basic buttons are the same, except it is missing one button. And I'll go over that in a minute. So back to the storm, we have a scrolly wheel with RGB. We have three buttons on the top here. One is to select the RGB function. The others change the DPI. On the side here, we have two extra buttons. One of them is textured, and one of them is not, so you could tell the difference between both of them. Unfortunately, you do not have the extra thumb button on the side here, like some other Red Dragon mice have. Now the side is textured and is very slick. It's not the grippiest because it is so slick, but then again, it is like a $25 mouse, so you get what you pay for. On the back here, we have a very simple design. We have a mode switch button and then the two slick pads down here that let you glide this mouse like nothing and then some more honeycomb design. They don't just stop on the front, they carry that design all the way to the bottom to actually cut out some weight. Now they do provide a threaded cable, but it does feel kind of weird. Not gonna lie, it's not like the threaded cable on this mouse right here. It's definitely different and does not feel near as strong and actually feels kind of flimsy. Not gonna lie, but I think they do this to make sure that it's as light as possible. So they have a reason for what they've done. Now one surprising thing about this mouse was that they didn't slam a Red Dragon logo anywhere visibly. It's actually on the bottom here and they just printed something on. Probably something to do with how they get the mouse in the first place. Maybe they don't even make it. Maybe they bought a ton of these just to throw their name on. Who knows with Red Dragon, they do a lot of stuff to make sure that you get the best price possible for your cheap electronic. Now I will say when using this mouse because of how the cable is made, it feels way lighter. It almost feels like it's wireless. So the cable on this mouse actually seems to have some resistance to it because it is so strong and can sometimes even move the mouse a tiny 
if it's staying completely still. It feels like there's no cable attached because there basically is no weight on the cable. So after a couple days of using this mouse, I will say that the texture on the top actually feels very nice on my palm whenever I'm using this. I really like the texture of it and it makes it feel very grippy and lightweight. And basically I would consider this feeling like a wireless mouse because it is so light and the cable feels like nothing. The RGB functions are pretty nice. I will say I am disappointed that there's not like a RGB light in the center glowing through all these holes. But other than that, for $25, you're getting some RGB at least, even on the scroll wheel, so I think they're doing all right. So whenever you're using the mouse, it actually has a very nice click sound to it. I really enjoy it. It doesn't take much weight at all to actually press down, but it also isn't bad enough where just resting your fingers on it is going to make it click. So you'll be good with this mouse. Overall, I think this is a really good gaming budget mouse because it only costs like $25. It may be a little bit more expensive on Amazon, but for the price, you're getting a really cool looking mouse and it feels great, performs great, just isn't the best materials ever. There's no metal in here that you could really see, but like I said, it's like 25 bucks. For $25, I think this mouse is pretty cool. Anyways, if you enjoyed this review, make sure you find this item in the description down below. I'll have an affiliate link. It really helps the channel. And anyways, I'll see you guys on the next tech review. Reality, it is touching the truth.